I have been traveling a lot. I've been in the Philippines for the past month and a half. I literally just got back here last week, still fighting jet lag. I can't believe I'm even awake right now. An everyday carry bag has been extremely important in my life. When I am entirely across the world in a totally different country where I don't have access to all of the equipment I have at home, making sure you have all the tech you need, all the tools you need to make sure you survive and can still get work done when you're traveling is very important. And that is why I'm doing my very first EDC video. So let's do this. And to begin, let's first start with the bag that I use. So let me get this. Oh. So what I use as my everyday carry is my Tumi Mason duffel bag. Now, this bag has been a complete godsend for me. As someone who lives in, the, in Las Vegas, in the suburbs where I don't have the ability to walk everywhere, where I do need something a little larger to bring with me everywhere, whether if I'm going to the gym, if I'm going a little further out, but still need to make sure I get work done on my laptop and have the tools I need, this duffel bag has been more useful to me than a regular backpack. I have a ton of backpacks. I have a Tumi backpack. I have everything. I have a Ramoa bag. And I kept buying bags until I found something I really liked, which was this. And I wanted something that would last for a while. A little classy. I do kind of wish I got the black color, not the blue version. I, I tend to like black a lot more. But this has been amazing for me. Uh, it is a bit pricey. I, I think it goes around $600 to $700 for this. I bought this about a year and a half ago. But it's been great. It has been through everywhere. It's been through the Philippines three times. It's been through around the country when I traveled for work. So now let's start with what's inside the bag. Now the first thing I want to show y'all is the phone I have. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This has been amazing for me. I know the iPhone 15 came out, but I just didn't. I don't feel a need to upgrade. There's no difference between the iPhone 15 and my iPhone 15, iPhone 14. And now this comes with the leather case, the Apple leather case. But more importantly, I got the white one. <laughs> I got the white one because I usually don't wear a case in my phones. But throughout the last year, I actually broke my phone three times. Thankfully, I have Apple Care. And so since then, I got the iPhone case and it's been great. It has survived pretty much everything. Now, the other thing that is a must have for everyday carry as a programmer, as a developer, as a content creator as well, is this. What is this? This is the charger that you use on your iPhone. Because I'm on my phone all the time, aka social media, posting content all the time, and now getting to TikTok, so check out my TikTok in the link description below. But this wireless charger from Apple has been amazing. As long as your phone is fully charged when you start using this, this would last me literally the whole day. And of course, the everyday carry, you need a wallet. So the wallet that I have is the Tumi. I have, I have the Tumi wallet. I bought this in the Philippines actually when I was there. But this wallet has been great. I, again, I've had wallets that only lasted maybe a, couple, a year or two. And I've got this Tumi wallet. And as you can tell, I'm a Tumi fanboy. As someone who wants things that last a long time, I bought this wallet in the Philippines hoping it'll last. And it still looks as good as new since I bought this about a year ago. Now, let's go inside the bag. Now, when it comes to an everyday carry, again, this is for programmers edition and everything as a, as a creator. What else do I have in here is a must have is my MacBook Pro. Okay, so this MacBook Pro has been amazing. I just bought this, this came out last month. This is the M3 MacBook Pro, but I got the base, of the base version. I don't need the max out version as much as I wanted it. And to be honest, as someone who literally buys a brand new computer almost every year, I just bought the M2 Mac Studio Ultra version, almost maxed out for about 6,000 bucks. This performs just as well. And so after, just, after using this in the Philippines over the last month and a half, I kind of feel like I wasted my money on the Mac Studio M2 Ultra. Like why did I buy that when I could have just bought this? for 2000 bucks or got the max out version of this. And so I honestly regret buying the Mac Studio. I'd prefer to stick with this and it's smaller and it's portable and I could bring it with me everywhere. So this has been amazing. So I have my MacBook, but another thing I wanna mention, this has been absolutely amazing. Let me explain. This is the JSOX Flip Go Dual Monitor. Okay, number one, they actually sent this to me before I left for the Philippines. So I've used this in the Philippines. When I'm traveling around the world, when I'm traveling around the country, because I only have a 14 inch MacBook Pro, the screen for this is pretty small. 
right? It's pretty small, especially as someone who's coding, who's editing videos. This screen does not have enough real estate for me to get stuff done. But check this out. The monitor is nearly the same size. So just the monitor, just like this, is already more than good enough to use a second monitor and it's light. It's actually lighter than the MacBook. It feels like the same weight as my iPad actually, maybe a little heavier. But what's great about this Flip Go is that it actually flips open, right? So I am actually have the ability to use dual monitors when I'm coding, which is kind of cool, kind of like an ultra wide monitor. And another cool thing is that it comes with what they call the Flex Folio. The Flex Folio is a folding leather case folder, especially designed for the Flip Go 2. It's light and can easily fit into your bag as well. Again, these have been absolutely amazing being around the world with me. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description below. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Chris, that duffel bag is way too big. I know this is a big freaking duffel bag. What about when you need to go somewhere, you want to have your EDC with your everyday carry items, and the duffel bag's too big, it just looks weird. Why would you bring this when you go into uh, maybe a coffee shop? It kind of looks weird to bring a duffel bag in a coffee shop, which is very true, which is why within my duffel bag, I actually have the sling. So this sling has been amazing for me. I brought this with me to the Philippines too. This is a Fieldcraft Survival Sling. This was great. I saw this on an ad on Facebook, actually. And yes, I use Facebook. And it's been great. It has all these different po pockets for you to put everything inside. And what's cool is that this could be used as a fanny pack. And yes, I use it as a fanny pack when I go walking outside, like when I walk my dogs. But more importantly, I'm wearing a mic right now. I'm not going to put it on me. But you pretty much strap it around your chest. And this has been great. Let's say I'm going hiking with friends. And this bag would not be hikeable. It's too big to bring with you hiking. This has been great. Why? Because of the other items I'll show you inside. Now, before we get into this, let me show you the other items I have inside my bag. Now, I like music. I am an audiophile. I am a very big audiophile. So what I also have in my EDC is my Bowers and Wilkins PX8 007 edition noise canceling headphones. I believe I bought these for around $700. They're double the price of Bose and Sony noise canceling headphones. I know, I know. But when you find a headphone you like, this is the way to go. Now, as someone who likes EDC and someone who likes to be safe, I really believe in safety. So what I also carry in my EDC is pepper spray. So this is the Palm Industries MK3 pepper spray. This is as strong as they get legally for protecting yourself. This is great. I like how they had this little um, lever on top to protect you from accidentally pressing it and spraying yourself in the eye or someone else in the eye. I've tested this, okay? I've tested it on myself accidentally. <laughs> and don't ask me how I accidentally tested this on myself, but I'll tell you this. This hurts. Like, this hurts. Like, it took me half the day to recover, right? I didn't spray it completely on my eyes, okay? But it hit it. And it hurt like crazy. It hurt like hell. And I don't want anyone to ever feel the pain of pepper spray on your eyes. But if anything, if, if worse comes to worse, because I'm not a fighter, I can't fight with my hands. If I have to, I will. I got this to give me the leverage and advantage I need to protect myself. Now, another thing that I make sure I have in my computer or in my bag, another thing I make sure I have in my bag is my Satechi multi-USB port. This has been great, especially when you're traveling, especially when you're not home. It comes with extra USB-C, two HDMI plugs, which is kind of insane, and two USB ports, allowing you to use this, especially when I'm working with my JSOX dual monitor system. This has been useful, even though you don't really need this. I, I just use a lot of ports because I'm also a content creator. With this, I also bring around with me my Black Magic Trackpad 2, I think it's called. And obviously, when this dies, because this doesn't last the whole day, I also make sure to have my other portal battery by Anchor. So this is about 120 bucks, but this has been great. So, so the capacity of this is about 13,000 mAh, which means I can charge my phone about three to four times which I'll never need to do, meaning that this actually lasts me a couple of days. So whenever I'm hiking, let's say I'm going hiking with my fiance, let's say for some reason my Tesla dies out there and we're stuck. At least we have a phone that can last a couple of days, although we'll probably need water and food. And, and there's more. I also bring my HHKB Happy Hacking Keyboard. Now this is a pricey keyboard. This is around $300, but this has been great, right? Um, typing on it, 
is amazing. It feels great when typing. I don't like using the MacBook keyboard. I prefer using an external keyboard. It is battery powered, meaning you put in batteries inside. There's none in here because it died in the Philippines on my way back here. This is the Type S Hybrid Happy Hacking Keyboard version. This has been great. I have about three of these actually. So shout out to HHKB for sending this to me. They sent this to me like three years ago, by the way. Last but not least though, actually I lied. Another thing I have on here is my microphone. I used to film with my, I think it's Shure SM7B microphone. And so what I love about this, I'm using this right now, is that it comes with two mics. And to be honest, this sounds better than my SM7B Shure microphone. I, or of course not as good, but it, it sounds very similar. It, it records in 32 float. If you don't know what that means, just search it. It's very convenient, especially when doing TikToks now, and even when doing interviews on Zoom, it's been great. So overall, these are the things that I bring with me when I'm traveling, when I'm going around the country, when I'm traveling for work, it's been great for me. If y'all wanna see more videos like this or anything else y'all wanna see, let me know and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.